Hi guys, thank you all so much for joining me today. Today is episode 29 of 30 Days of Art. We're one day away from the finale. And before I begin, I just wanted to quickly announce that I'm having a Valentine's Day sale at my shop. So for 20% off of your order, use the code VALENTINE at happyd-artist.com. And the sale ends February 5th. So let us begin now with today's speed painting. Um, two oil paintings in a row. Woohoo! I'm feeling really, really accomplished this month because I have been doing so many oil paintings and even though they take a lot of time, I managed to actually force myself to adhere to one of my biggest New Year's resolutions, which was to do three paintings a month at least. So yeah, I'm really excited to be bringing more oil painting time lapses to this channel. And um, today's topic of discussion is something that I had been accruing over the months as I've been working on this 30 Days of Art series. And I thought since we're about to come to an end, I would share kind of almost like a summary of a lot of things that I have learned, not only in the past, I think, six months of doing the series, but also the past few years of being an artist full time and kind of being a social media influenced artist in a way because I do do most of my um, business through YouTube and Instagram and Patreon. So I guess I wanted to share with you guys a list of six things that I learned from being a full time artist. And uh, these are, I guess, some life lessons that apply to both the artistic process and also kind of the business and career and social media side of things. So the first thing I learned is that aside from painting and drawing, you have to have many other skills in order to be successful. Um, some examples include video editing, for example, or in some cases, writing skills. You have to be able to communicate with potential business partners, galleries, clients, customers. Um, you also have to have some sales and kind of management skills so I, I what I mean is like you don't have to be one of those cheesy salesman types but having some skill in presenting your work and promoting it in a way that actually gets people to buy your work rather than coming off as spammy or you know coming off as um, disingenuous so some proper communication skills there the second thing I learned is you cannot trust everyone. So over the last two years, I've actually encountered a fair share of scammers or people who don't want to pay for your work or people who try to lowball you or some cases um, you finish a project for a client and they're trying to weasel out of paying or they take a really long time to respond and you really can't put your trust in everyone that they will deliver what they promise. So a good way to prevent yourself is uh, prevent yourself from being tricked or scammed is to just ask for deposits up front or ask for payments up front. If you're working with a gallery or a client that um, doesn't have an established reputation or perhaps just in all cases, um, always make sure you have a proper contract with proper terms and that both parties sign the contract. So contracts are great for making sure like if someone wants to commission something from you that they pay all of the payments or um, if you're working with a gallery to make sure that um, for example, they don't just sell your work, take the money and run, that they actually pay up the, co um, the commission that you deserve. And also, I think also for working with sponsorships and other clients for social media, a contract also makes sure that both parties adhere to the conditions that they agreed on. And <laughs> number three is that patience is a virtue. So whether you're working on a very tedious oil painting that seems to be going nowhere, no matter how many hours you put into it, or if you're trying to learn how to use a new video editing software for the first time and you're really struggling, um, you just have to learn to be patient and deal with something looking bad or something sucking or deal with yourself not picking up on a new talent as fast as you want to. Um, and basically kind of come to terms with the fact that you're going to fail many, many, many times before you finally succeed or before something finally goes the way you want it to. And that's just something that you have to mentally convince yourself. So just be patient and know that good things take time. And number four is you need thick skin because you're going to be dealing with 
um, internet trolls or disappointing sales or you know people leaving you nasty or sometimes not nasty but just hurtful critiques that you know might hurt your feelings or bruise your ego you're gonna have to deal with plagiarism so people impersonating you or stealing your work and calling it their own and um, you got to handle all these situations but you have to handle it with grace and with calmness and so you have to have some thick skin because no matter what comes your way you have to know how to deal with it in a mature and effective way and the fifth lesson I learned is you need to know how to budget your life so what I mean by that is that art income is often very unpredictable. You have no control over how much you'll sell or how much people will pay or how much money you'll make from any revenue source. So you're going to need to know how to budget your finances. Um, because even if you have a good month or a good two months or maybe a good year, you can't just assume that that's going to last forever. You have to know how to prepare for the bad months. So just as a rule of thumb, um, you're just going to have to, I guess maybe until you're at some crazy um, world famous level, but you're just going to have to learn how to budget and um, live frugally and don't waste money on useless things. It's obviously okay to treat yourself and, you know, indulge from time to time, of course, but um, you shouldn't, you shouldn't view your income or finances as a guarantee because yeah, art is very unpredictable. And the sixth thing that I learned, and probably the most important one, is that success does not come overnight. Actually, nothing comes overnight. Rome was not built in a day, especially when it comes to success or popularity. And this is something that I've come to realize with um, social media. It was the most important lesson I learned because when I first started being a full-time artist, I had less than 1,000, not even a few hundred followers. And it took me slowly over time, years and years, to build up my followers, to build up my presence in the art community, and honestly to build up a collector base that wanted to invest money in my work and wanted to, um, I guess, support me in my art career. So not only did it take a lot of patience, but it also took a lot of inner strength to convince myself to keep having hope and to keep trying and to not let the failures or perhaps the disappointments, to not let those things slow me down. Because even the people that seemingly exploded overnight and became you know, an overnight sensation, whether they got featured by another big art sharing account that you know, gained them like thousands of followers in one day, or perhaps like, you know, they sold a huge painting or, got, or landed some coveted spot at a huge popular gallery, um, it didn't happen overnight. It just seems that way because you're observing their journey in the present. Um, everyone, I can guarantee you, has gone through years and years of perseverance and failures and trying and trying again before they landed that, old, that golden opportunity that propelled them into fame or success. And even once they get there, even once they get their kind of one big shot, um, they still have to continue working hard every single day to make sure that that momentum doesn't fade, that, that success or that fame... Um, is everlasting and it's not just going to die down because i think the art industry is a lot like honestly a lot like the entertainment industry um you know it's like one moment you're in the next moment you're out um you know trends they come and go i think artists also come and go so you have to just keep on working even if you've already reached your goals it doesn't mean that you're set for life so yeah <laughs> basically the gist of all the lessons i've learned is be patient work hard and try to learn as much as you can um but yeah i think that is about it for the um, topic of discussion today i'm so sad that there's only one episode left and i already have a topic in mind for what i want to cover i actually had this topic in mind since i began my 30 days of art and i was like i can't wait to get to episode 30 so i can't wait to share that with you guys and yeah also, I wanted to thank you guys real quick for all your amazing suggestions when I asked in my last video for suggestions on 
more ideas for video series that I can do. Um, I'm definitely going to be drawing ideas from that list when I plan my next series. So that will be out very soon. And um, last but not least, I just wanted to remind you guys again that I am having a sale that ends in a few days and you can find prints and stickers and a lot more things at happyd-artist.com. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.